So in 2009, I was preparing for the New York Marathon, and part of my preparation included getting my diet straight. I had to lose a little bit of weight. And I found myself reaching for jerky. And I reached for it because it was low in calories, low in carbohydrates, low in sugar, and high in protein. And that was really my aha moment when I realized that there was this huge category in the U.S. that was misunderstood. Nobody had innovated it, brought any creative flavors to it. We thought, we're going to do something different in this category. We come from the food and wine business, and, and we really wanted to replicate uh, high-quality restaurant-style jerky. We had this mission from the get-go is to change a category, and we felt very fortunate to have this unique opportunity to literally change the meat snacks category and elevate it to something of respect. Most consumers know what jerky is. The problem is those most consumers feel have a familiarity with jerky in a gas station or in a convenience store. We had to get down to the ingredient level, and the ingredients that we used were all natural, we use a gluten-free tamari. We use all United States meat, whole muscle cut. Really important to us was the texture of the meat, that it was very tender and soft and easy to eat. And we do taste and make the marinades, and just like you would at home, uh, we do tests on all of our product. And uh, once we land on a flavor that we really love and the flavor and the texture is there, then we make the jerky. And we also have a new line called the Artisanal Series, and what we're actually doing is elevating jerky even another step up. And these Artisanal Series are actually going to be farm specific, so we're working with the individual farmers where we can communicate exactly what's happening to the animals all the way through, and they're delicious. They really are. <laughs> Nothing more to say about that, let me tell you. <laughs>